Warning, previous episodes were not a fluke. This game contains very strong language reflective of the ravages and hardships of war. Your discretion is strongly advised. Welcome back everyone to the Dare Languisher Heroes Only Challenge Run, where hiring troops leads to a quick trip to the pen. As we begin, Scenario 11, The Holy Blades Mystery. Hundreds of years ago, the descendants of Light reigned over Baldia, the Kingdom of Light, blessed by Lucirus's holy power. The legendary blade wielded by Sigheart in the days when Baldia was known as Elfliad slumbers within the castle's heart. Wind, water, heart. However, to oppose the Empire once again, the descendants of Light have arrived to capture Langrisser for their own ends. Once again, the volatile continent Elisalia shall bear witness to a struggle for the Holy Sword. Uh-huh. It's gonna get interesting. And really quick, just wanted to show off the fact that more than half of our team is wearing the speed boots because I think mobility is going to be critical for our victory here. We'll see. Hmm. Vargas deep in thought here. It's a rarity. Hmm. A little longer. A little longer for what? Hmm. I can't stand it! He's gonna pull the last of his hairs out at this rate. Just a little longer. Uh. Oh! Was that the mother, the child, or a monster? That noise. Congratulations, you're the father of baby It. Oh, oh! Eliza! Oh, that's some real pain for you. Oh! Such a charming lass she is. She'll grow up to be beautiful, just like Eliza. I'm the world's luckiest man. My dear, might you have cloth to wrap her in? Of course we've got some. We're here in our humble, well-stocked home. What an odd thing to say. <laughs> anyway, thank you for that, Marcus. Such a happy occasion. Forgive me, dear. Didn't you want to... Didn't you really want a baby boy? Yes, I did. Hmm. But I thought of a name for a daughter, too! Yeah. My, what name have you thought of? How about Emilia? Emilia. Emilia's a good name for her. Well, my wee lass, your name shall be Emilia. You think she's Scottish, maybe? Hmm. Emilia, do you understand? I'm your papa! My, I wonder if she does understand. It looks like she's smiling. Ah, uh, what a touching family Hallmark Kodak moment. A rarity in these type of games. And it's not gonna last long. General Leon, one moment please! Colonel, your service is beyond a measure. Excellent work! Our goal lies within reach. Hmm, I wonder if our troubles will be over so easily. Speaking of which, where is Langrisser? It lies on the central altar! There! Good eyesight. Well, let's get this over with. Hmm? This won't be as simple as you make it sound. Because... The would-be good guys are on the scene. And they came prepared. We didn't come here just to deliver Langrisser to you. As prepared as they can be. What a bother. General Leon, let's hurry! We must get the sword for the Mr. Indeed. <laughs> I speak Laird fluently. Egbert said only two people besides myself are able to draw the sword. Our strategy must take them into consideration. I see. In any case, let's move. Time to get Langrisser. And teach me Laird while you're at it. Anyway, this is turn one, scenario 11. This is... A pivotal moment. The turning point. This is where it all starts to become unhinged. So first things first, we're going to take full advantage of our boots to get over there quickly. I'm going to do this... I'm approaching this battle completely adverse to what I normally would do. Typically, I would send somebody up north along that first bridge to the west. But instead, I'm going to send everybody out east. 
Will I be able to catch up to them in time? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I've got a good feeling though. General Leon, what would you have me do? Shall I take the offensive or maintain our fits? Well, Mr. Michael Machines, I think we're going to leave it up to you. I trust your better judgment. You did find Baldi all by yourself after all. Leave it up to me. I'll keep an eye on things and fill it where I'm needed. So is he gonna just stand around, cast attack? Oh no, he's actually, he's footing. Okay, he's moving. Everybody back up, let the man through. He's got things to do. Places to go, faces to maul. Lady Jessica! I heard that those who are not descendants of light can't draw the Holy Blade. If that's so, let's use all our power to defeat Elwyn before he gets Langrisser. If we do that, then we can remove it at our leisure. Leisure. Leisure? No. If my memory is clear, that man Leon can also draw Langrisser. What? Impossible! He's a descendant of light? If that foreign sword he holds is genuine, then he's a descendant. In that case, we've no choice but to take Languisseur before either of them. That's right. I'll approach the central altar. Everyone, please offer me your support. Yes, my lady. And you can learn more about his descendant and that sword in the upcoming Languisseur 3, which I will be covering very soon on this channel. That's the next game on the agenda, actually. Turn 2. Leon, you and I are both descendants of light? Yes, Egbert said something to that effect. This sword proves our heritage. I don't know how the sword proves both of your heritages, but okay. The soldier, the heart, my ancestor, said to have been given it a century ago. Yeah. We were just talking about that. The blade has a unique design. I've never seen another like it. It is what they call a katana. As a sword for killing, it has no match. Except for maybe a smith. I see. All that considered, I wonder which of us should approach the altar. Either of you will do. Just remember why we seek the sword. By offering Languisseur to his majesty, we shall forge a noble, prosperous world. The whole continent may join in an era of peace. That's the idea at least. But I'm not sure if everyone here shares in that ideal equally. We're gonna find out how it goes. And Mel is just along for the ride. You know, she doesn't really chime in with too much dialogue because I feel like she's pretty impartial. You know, she's just going to go wherever the power rests. You know, whoever is on the winning team, to an extent. You know, she's placed her lot with Bernhardt, for better or for worse. So she doesn't have too much to say about this whole peace thing. She could care less, at least on the surface. There is more to her than meets the eye. And maybe before the end of this, we'll get a glimpse of that. But in the meantime, Hain wants to send a very strong message to the opposing side to not get too many ideas. Because if he does, he's going to put them in their place, like so. And then we got Roger here to back us up with tornadoes. Should we choose to do so. But Roger's actually going to be the X Factor in this fight for me, so we have to keep him moving, taking advantage of that high mobility. And we gotta clear the road, so this guy's gotta go. He's the first to fall. Gah! Looks pretty grim with the eyes blackened out on their Porsches. I mean, I know that's the Langrisser way of profiling the generic commanders, but considering we just offed them, it's almost like we, you know, took his eyes out. Out of my way! I won't let you stand between me and the altar! And normally you don't want to send a general against Dragoons, but I think we're safe with 40 defense. Thank you, Assault Suit. This is what it was designed to do. <laughs> and then Leon. Again, pretty good movement with the boots, so gonna just keep him moving forward too. Keep the medic with the team. And Lair's about to put in some work, okay? And I don't mind him taking this experience because we've got more important things to do right now, unfortunately. Gotta get that sword. My what strength? Yeah. He doesn't care about farming. He's not milking. No, Laird is all about that jugular. Maximum efficiency. 
can't be mad about it. Besides, he's helping to keep Imelda alive because I kind of put her in a precarious position because her defense is what, 18, 19? It's, it's not a lot, so the enemy could easily one-shot her. Uh, how regrettable! But she's pretty well covered right now. Thank you, Lair. I see we made the right decision there. It makes no difference, even if Cherie should come here. Please, wait a little longer. We can't say at this point whether we truly lost. Have a little faith in us, Jessica. I understand. Until Cherie comes, do the best you can. See, Jessica's pretty practical. She knows that <laughs> Keith, his Hawk Lords, if they're even Lords, they can't stand a chance against us. They've got nothing. But, you know, what else can she do? You're a damn fool to attack me! You only live once! And that time is up. Enjoy it while you can. Of course they get a lucky hit in because the RNG does not care for overpowered people when they're player controlled. Now if this was my archers attacking their commanders with 32 defense, probably would not have the same amount of luck, but you know, then again, sometimes you do. It's it's just really off like that. It's hard to call. Okay. This mage is very aggressive. They really want to get Roga. I don't know how effective they're going to be. The Ballistas have even less attack than the Elves. Because the attack revision is not that good. Their base attack's better. Watch out! Kalzath's aerial army has arrived! This isn't a good time to hit them. Advance slowly until that girl, Cherie, appears. Everyone, lend a hand! We'll be in trouble if the route to the altar isn't secure. If the aerial army blocks us, Cherie will snatch Lambrisser. No worries, no worries, because we can just march right in here and get cheated out of the kill. Gotcha. Yeah, there's no reason Elwyn should not have been able to off him in one go, but... What have I said? These mages, these saints, these sages, they just have really sturdy defense. You all cannot have Lancaster. But he can't stand up to Roga and Elwyn. That's a little too much. That's too much for any man to withstand. And we don't want to move too far forward with Leon because we might even heal. Hand over Lancaster so we can realize our ideal. You mean your ideal? You're the only one who really seems to care. Leon, have you noticed? At least they spared us the sentimental twile. Well, on to the next bunch. You Imperials are impressive making it through to us. Ah, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. You know, I think the only one over here who's as equally invested in peace would be Vargas, but he's not really with us yet. So, yeah. But he'll find out Elwyn's true color soon enough. Our skill with magic should not be taken lightly. And... Until I have Langrisser, I cannot accept defeat. Targeting Leon, curious choice. Not gonna do much to him. A little bit, but not much. So, Laird proving to have multiple uses here. Not only is he going to clear a road for us, make a way, but he's going to draw a lot of the enemy fire as well, taking the thunder to the face for us, so that's that's nice. Because this little chip damage they're pulling off, it's annoying, but it's not really going to impede us. But if they start getting us down to 7, 6, that becomes an issue. But we still got Leon, so not too concerned yet. But every turn he spends healing is a turn that he's not going to be able to move forward. And I'm trying to avoid having Roku go on a one-man mission to stop Jessica, but that's probably what it's going to come down to. And Keith is on the move. It's not going to take him long to get over here. All right, Amel, it's time to pull you off the bench and move you forward, but there's really no room yet, so we've got to create a space. And that's something that Hain is capable of doing. Shouldn't take any damage along the way. 
Leave the rest to me. I was bunch. Get the sword. He's got 31 defense and showing off right now. Trees can save those archers. Yeah, and we actually want to keep Laird's people healthy right now. They're being very helpful, so that's good. Then enjoy Leon while we can. I have a feeling we're not going to be his favorite people in the world after this map, so yeah. Just throwing that out there. Hey, you guys voted. You know what's in store. <laughs> I'm not spoiling anything. And see, Roga just has that amazing movement, so... I'm not worried about him catching up to Jessica at this point, so we can take a brief detour, but I'm not gonna. As tempting as it is to start attacking that sorcerer's group, I gotta stay on task. Let some other people get that EXP. People like Imelda, and I'm trying to be careful where I put her, because I know she can get targeted easily. But you know what? It's not really gonna matter in a moment. You'll see. <laughs> Laird is gonna do what he can. Clear the debris. Dragoons are good for that sort of thing. Yeah, see? Those elves are helpless. And that's a pretty interesting formation he built up there. Nice, solid, straight line. A would-be impenetrable wall of defense, except... They can attack from range. Please step aside! What? You're attacking me? I'm not even at you yet. You think you can win against General Imelda of the Water Dragon Navy? Uh, watch what you say. Because I think they can. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I tried to keep you safe, but I failed. Why? I just don't get it. Yeah, you weren't really pulling your weight anyway. See ya. Oh, well. I don't think she really has anything to say at the end of this map, so no real loss there. Doesn't affect us in the slightest. That'd just be a few less fireballs we could have thrown out Big Wolf. Speaking of attacking, it's time for Rogue to start getting in there. And Lair! Again, these sorcerers, they just refuse to go down without a fight. I can't be mad, but they're just slowing the whole thing down. Resistance is futile. Have you ever heard that phrase? Oh well. Just because movement's not the best, she's known for wearing long dresses, so I'm sure that's not going to do much when traversing a half-submerged castle. So that's good. Again, we won't have any problems catching up. We're playing a nice game of tortoise and hare right now. She is the hare. And we are the tortoise. Now, as soon as Cherie shows up, we're going to have to change my tactics a little bit. But we've still got a few turns until we have to worry about that, I think. So, Hayne, if you could, please. I only made it this far. And... Elwyn versus Keith, Clash of the Titans, not really. It was kind of one-sided, actually. <laughs> and we obtained a shield, good job. No, can I do no more? Send my apologies to the princess. I can no longer aid our alliance. I, I must withdraw. So, Rogue is in prime position to cast Tornado. Against fairies and hawks, you'd expect this to do huge damage, and it did. Laird is still working it out. Setting them straight. And at this rate, he's going to take care of the spellcaster himself. That's perfectly fine. But not before he gets out of thunder. One last hurrah. Because if Laird hasn't taught us anything else by now, it's that he couldn't care less about a pike. ha <laughs> ha! I've come to save the day! Here I come. General Vargas? Hmm, you're in a good mood, Vargas. Is it really okay to leave your wife alone for this? Sure, God, she's already given birth. It was a girl. My cute daughter's round as a ball, just like me. Gah! <laughs> it went as expected. 
We're gonna win this! I've got a wife and a new daughter to honor! Get ready for a major ass kicking! Courtesy of Knight Vargas, who rejoins the entourage. But it's too far away to be of any use. Now, I could easily wipe them all out with a tornado, but we're gonna leave that experience to somebody else. Again, gotta stay on task here. It'll probably end up going to Laird, if I remember right. I'm unshakable! I'm fearless! Right now, let's go! So, just for fun, we're gonna just class change him. It doesn't matter, but... In another world where we could use him, we could have made him a swordsman. And we will. I mean, I could try to move him to cut off the other route, but I don't think there's any point whatsoever. Yeah. Especially when Cherie joins the map. Her movement is too good, so... Thanks for nothing, Vargas. We're just gonna put you on manual, so... We don't have to sit around and watch your people shuffle endlessly. And that's Laird for you, always finishing what he starts. It's too early for this. Nah, we're right on time. And Laird, level 10, level up. Oh, but the poor bastard can't ascend beyond a Highlander. Shame. Too bad, we could have really used a Nightmaster right now. All right, so maybe between Elwyn and Hane, we can just magic those hawks to death. I really probably should have left it to Roga because he still would have probably caught up to Jessica no problem, but don't want to take any unnecessary chances. And that sound, we know who it is. Hey, what's the news on Langrisser? The Imperial Army doesn't have it either. If you take advantage of your mobility, you might make it in time. I'll support you from here. Please go with all haste to the altar and return with Langrisser. Sharia of Kalzath, heading out! So a Dragon Knight has come. Hurry, Elwyn. Don't let them take the sword. Understood. Oh, don't you worry about that. Don't let the Empire near Langrisser. Sharia will not get Langrisser. Stop her by any means necessary. I may be a bit behind, but I'll catch up fast. Yes, she will. I'm always curious what direction she's gonna go. See, she's sticking to the wall for right now, carefully avoiding us. Smart. So she's probably just gonna sneak past us, which really is the correct choice. But we're not gonna let her. Might as well pick up a little EXP along the way. Hain has some very juicy spells right now, including again. Gonna make full use of that to keep Elwyn moving. Not gonna get slowed down by the planks. And the sea. And Roga. Just one elf at a time. RNG's been coming through for us this fight overall. All things considered. Yeah, see. She's gonna try to cut around. Jessica's movement is horrendous. So, I think the next turn is going to be it for her. These hawks are trying to block us, but they don't have enough people to do it. Especially if I do this. D Damn you! And of course, Jessica's going to resist! Because she's a caster, and they don't go down in one hit. That's been established. <laughs> yeah, see? You ain't slick, Cherie. We know where you're going. Don't know where you're going. That's right. We've got a Highlander who can take care of you. We'll go take care of Jessica in the meantime. Pick up a magic wand. That's actually useful. And... Ooh, wow. That's a rarity. Jessica has nothing to say. Okay. I'll take it. Laird will take this. Yes, he will. Damn you, Imperial scumbags! Yeah, cry, baby, cry. In the afterlife.
Yeah, see, Cherie wasn't lying. She caught up real quick, but you know what? She fell right into our mousetrap in the form of a tornado. The bane of her existence, as long as she's on that dragon. Angels, however, are obnoxious because they're immune to magic, so... Now, we could cast a decline or decrease spell on them, but... That won't be necessary. Elwyn, your strength is truly incredible to have defeated everyone. You won't be so lucky next time. As soon as our army has recovered, we'll crush your ambitions. And I'm gonna hold you to that. In the meantime, we're gonna collect some levels for our troubles. Rogan doing very well for himself. Gonna pick up a class change. High Master. On his way to learning the teleport spell. And I cannot wait to have that. That is going to be very essential in some later battles for my strategy. So, High Master it is. We've brushed aside our foes. They won't be any further hindrance. Now we can approach the altar uninterrupted. So this, so this is Langrisser. Mwahahaha, I can feel the power corrupting me. You've done well, Elwyn. With Langrisser in hand, all the continent will soon know Imperial Order. Good point. It's a pity you've all been outmoded. You see, for a grand unified continent, the Empire is not necessary. This sword and myself will be sufficient. What need is there for the Kaiser when I can reign over Elisalia? <laughs> Stop playing around, Elwyn. Hurry up and hand over that sword! And drop that silly voice! Yes, what unlimited power. My reign over this continent would be quite assured. <laughs> no. You'd betray the Empire, Elwyn! Kisaba! Betray? Moi? You're not thinking clearly. Someone must bring order to this continent. Why not me? I have Langrisser. Bringing order, ending strife. I can do it all. <laughs> You bastard. You think you could just backstab us all? Yes. Yes. Well, how about it? Won't you join me? Without the Empire weighing us down, we can truly work for peace. Here, take a sip of my Kool-Aid. No way. You've stolen that dream from His Majesty, the Kaiser. It's his vision, and only he can realize it. So he's gonna run away. Hain, will you come with me? Uh, sh sure, but you're kinda creeping me out, guy. This sounds interesting. I'll lend my sword too. Then it's decided. Well, huh. We are now at odds with the Imperial Army. I could bring peace far more quickly than any empire. Elwyn, you're the most scheming piece of shit! I've ever come across. You're not worthy of the Empire's boot heels. You killed Zoram, and now this? When you die, it shall be with my knife in your throat. Wait for it, boy. Yeah, someone's not happy. Soon a new world will be born, and those who stand with us shall become its lords. So Elwyn has flipped the switch and there's no going back so what do we have to look forward to all manner of nonsense shenanigans and anarchy courtesy of our quote unquote protagonist yeah not feeling too heroic right now but hey we might as well play up the role and ham it up right so i hope you like diabolical elwin that's all you're gonna get starting with the next video. Until then, have a wonderful day, take care of yourselves, and hopefully <laughs> my Judas crew and I will see you soon.